Creating text in HitFilm Pro is easy, with the 3D extrusion effect as well as the BorisFX plugin. However, in the Express version, you don't have access to any of these. Today we'll be showing you some workarounds to creating 3D text inside of HitFilm Express 2017. Today's tutorial will be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So today's idea comes from the HitFilm user HitFilm Sensei who uploaded his YouTube video detailing this effect. The video is 13 minutes long, today I hope to create a shorter tutorial, but if you want to see how to do it in more detail and some more tips on 3D work, then definitely go check out his tutorial, I'll only be covering the basics today. So to begin this tutorial, just create a new composite shot, just like normal, and just hit OK. Then inside of this, just create a new camera. The camera is just like a normal camera, it's what we see our image through. We'll just create a new layer, a new text layer. I'm going to make it 1920 by 400, and then I'm just going to type in my text like normal. Once all of that is complete, I'm just going to move the text so that it is above the red line, which is where our floor will be. Now we're going to make some adjustments to this text itself, so just right click on this and select Make Composite Shot and hit OK. The reason we're doing this is that the effects we're applying to this text become baked in so that we can apply some other effects on top of that. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So just go and search for the fractal noise effect. This is to apply a texture to the text. In HitFilm Sensei's tutorial, he makes sure that the type is clouds, the interpolation is block, and he changes the transform to 50 pixels. And I think that all of this is very good to create a simple, clean texture. Also in his tutorial, he grabs the brightness and contrast effect and drags that after the fractal noise. He adjusts the contrast to be negative 95. Now go back into your first composite shot, change the layer dimensions to be 3D plane. Now go ahead and search for the parallax effect and just drag that onto the top layer. Then go into the controls, open it up, change the depth to be the max and invert the map. Now you can kind of see it looks 3D, like it's kind of half extruded, but it doesn't really have the texture that we want. To do this, we need to add a light to our scene. So just go New Layer, Light. By default, it's a point light, and adding this light, we can see nothing's actually happened. That's because it's behind the text. So just drag it forward, and we can see we've got this beautifully textured text. This is where my tutorial will end. If you want to check out more things, then you can go check out HitFilm Sensei's channel to get some more tips on lighting. He has a ground plane as well as a light flare in the background. He has a lot of great stuff on his tutorial as well. So I will link that, as I said, in the description below if you want to check that out. With all of that being said though, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy the video, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Share it with other people that also might find this helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.